But the first question was, I feel like I need a pep talk. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, I am going on, I guess I'll just call this like a date by myself with me. I guess this is a date with you guys and I'm very excited, but not at the same time. I'm very stressed out actually, but everybody that I know and their mom are busy today. So I just thought that I should just take matters into my own hands, get my things that I need done by myself. And so I'm gonna bring you guys downtown Toronto with me. If you guys don't live in Toronto, I guess this is kind of like a glimpse of what it looks like. I'm not gonna go everywhere downtown. I'm kind of just gonna go in this like small area of Toronto. If you guys ask my coworkers, my friends, my family, I am so shy. I don't like to talk to people. Okay, pause. I like talking to people. I just don't have the guts to. <laughs> but when it comes to like my job where I actually have to like communicate and interact with clients, I am completely fine. Like I can have a full on conversation with you. But when it comes to like being in my own personal space, I like shut down. I cannot talk to you <laughs> unless I'm very comfortable, which I've been trying to be more open and welcoming in that sense. I would always have like a really straight face and people wouldn't know if I'm being mean or like, you know, so we're working on our face right now because with masks, I've been trying to mind my facial expressions when I'm talking to people. Sometimes my face just kind of drifts into like a resting face. Today's itinerary, I am basically going downtown to pick up something for my mother's birthday. So Nathan, if you're watching this, get out of here. I want to go to the bookstore, so Indigo. I don't know if that's an American thing. I think it might be chapters for you guys. I don't know. I want to see if I can get like some kind of book. I actually really enjoy reading and I want to spend more time reading. The last one that I read was in five years. That was a good like romance, modern love book, but I want to look for more or, you know, some self-help books, maybe something to help with my retail issue that I have. Um, <laughs> I want to see if I can get a snack. I think I'm going to slowly integrate more time with myself, but but I will talk about my whole experience once I'm home. Right now, it is 11.55, but I guess I'll do an outfit of the day for you guys. I need to make my bed before I go, so here we go. <laughs> For my hair, I just did my usual styling i did like a mini little blowout look with it and i think it looks nice this is the outfit for today with just a halter top today and it's just a seamless material and i really like it it's really comfortable and breathable and then i threw this sweater on for my jeans i'm wearing these thrifted pairs they're kind of like a mid-rise very comfortable. I am wearing the Nike Spiridons in the UNC colorway. Guys, I cannot stress how nervous I am to go outside by myself. I feel like to some people, like it comes very natural, but for people who are just very shy and introverted, it's crazy because I do YouTube. So it's just like, it doesn't really make sense that I am, but I cannot, cannot do it. Let me just see when the bus comes and then we'll head out. I feel like I need a pep talk. You can do this and if you guys need to hear it too you guys can definitely do it i believe in you busy today and I'm actually kind of nervous but literally waited for like three trains to pass but hopefully this one will be empty. You guys can even hear me but i am going to go to yorkville right now i'm gonna try and go to whole foods and see if there's like snacks because next week i'm going back to work i might as well kill two birds with one stone while i'm here $3.99 
probably not healthy for me, but actually they should be healthy because they're baked and not fried. They also have a jalapeno cheddar one, which sounds amazing. Can hear me it's really loud i got a sushi bowl looks yummy i'll do a little b-roll for you guys looking really good everybody everybody i said my sister and my cousin is saying that it's really good i'm also on facetime with my sister and she's making fun of me so this is the poke sushi bowl that i got i think it was from i'll put it on the screen but this is what it looks like it has corn some peach um, some seaweed, salmon, and some tempura bits. This is fun being by myself. He's a good dog. I would come back here and after I buy a book and read it. This is really good. <laughs> it is facing me. I got this girl. Guys, I vlogged. I vlogged on the subway. I like put the, the camera far away from me, like on the other side, or no one came on. I was shocked. There's an old couple watching me vlog and talk to you guys. They're like smiling at me. They're probably like, ugh, this generation. I love having meals with family and friends. I feel like it's the only time where conversations really thrive. And although this video is about being on my own, it's really important to make time for your loved ones. I just finished eating and I just got off the phone with my sister. There's like pigeons coming towards me and they keep coming closer and I think it's because the person before me left crumbs. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to go shop as well. I don't know if that's a smart idea. You know, some self-help books, maybe something to help with my retail issue that I have. But we'll see. I'm gonna go by Bloor and see how the lines are. Not to shop, just to see. And I'll let you guys know. It's really windy, so I'm gonna go. Since I'm already out, I'm just gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go to Queen Street. You guys don't know where that is. It's Queen Street. <laughs> and they have like little shops. They have an Aritzia, Brandy Melville, and like other places. I think I'm just gonna walk down. Probably gonna take me like an hour, honestly, to walk there, but it's fine, I guess. So far, this trip has been, it's been. This has been pretty fun. I think I'd do this again, but we'll see. It's really hot and I'm wearing this sweater and I'm wearing a mask. Okay, <laughs> I took my sweater off and I'm gonna continue walking out, so. All right guys, we are back at home. I just need to find better lighting because the sun is like kind of setting a little. I wanted to talk about my little trip today. It was honestly very fun. I think the reason why I had so much fun was probably because there was not really anybody else's agenda to get done. It was kind of just me and what I felt like doing and that was really nice. You guys kind of saw my confidence starting to kind of build while I was vlogging. Basically, I didn't mention this earlier, but but I put down some questions for myself. So I wanted to answer those. I have four questions. So the first question was, was leaving the house bad? And what were your thoughts when doing so? I guess because I kind of knew where I was going and I knew the directions and very familiar to the destination I was going to. I just felt like I was going there for a friend or because I had to run an errand. It was just more so like vlogging that was kind of terrifying me. The second question was, what was the scariest part of this trip and honestly I think it was just like pulling out my camera and vlogging I just started to realize like people in Toronto probably do not care about what I'm doing and in the area that I was in like everyone was just like they had somewhere to go like a destination so they're not gonna stop and stare at you once I kind of got out of my head like I feel like I got a lot better and more comfortable with vlogging another scary thing was probably just like being by myself as you guys know I'm pretty fresh out of a relationship so I remember just being very dependent on having somebody come with me and I feel like I've just unlocked like a whole nother person today and just became a bad bitch and I did it by myself you know obviously it's still really nice to have somebody go with you and it's nice to spend time with people that you love but I just never gave myself the chance to do that so it was really nice to do that for once kind of tying into the next question which was what was the most pleasant part of this trip 
As you guys saw or heard earlier, I said that I tried to make plans with some friends and it's usually like my good girlfriends. Everyone was already busy. I feel like I've accomplished something that I've been very afraid to do, which was just be by myself. So I feel like that was the most rewarding feeling is like going home knowing that I did something by myself. And this is like a form of self-care, honestly. And then the last question, this one, I will let you guys know my first answer, which was not gonna do this again probably gonna have something bad happen and really just turn me off but i would probably do this again by myself a hundred more times i feel like it just kind of gives you like a sense of your own being and understanding what it's like to be alone and that's what i wanted i wanted to find my own independence and i feel like i'm finally getting the grip of that and i feel really happy today's vlog will probably not be as eventful but it was the first time i think vlogging in public it was cool it was different for you guys too because I'm always filming in like this white room, which is my bedroom. So it's nice to have like a different scenery. And I was talking to my sister. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna be my own best friend this summer. And I feel like that's such like an amazing feeling and thing to say. And I know it's only been like one day that I've been hanging out by myself, but it does feel really nice. But before I end this video, I just wanted to say and just encourage you guys, go do something by yourself and do something for yourself. I was always scared and just so dependent on others, you know, just be there kind of like, moral support i guess to kind of get my things done but i love you guys and i want you guys to love yourself too self-care and self-love is such a journey and i think everybody's on a different path to it and don't expect like a huge drastic change overnight it's gonna take some time you know this is the beginning for me i'm very excited to enter this chapter with you guys and bring you guys along try doing something by yourself just one time this week or this weekend or whenever you're free build that relationship with you you literally have to date yourself i feel like this is the most that i've rambled in a video so i'm gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoyed but i love you guys thank you so much for coming with me and making this a whole lot better and a lot easier and i will see you guys in my next one bye